Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Yarborough Jones versus Triplett. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Yarborough, you were here previously in this very courtroom to prove that the late Shy Lights member Creedell Jones was your biological father and that Michael Jones is your brother. The results from that case prove that Creedell Jones is your father. Now you and Mr. Jones stand united together to protect your father's legacy and musical estate by proving that Mr. Triplett is not your sibling. Mr. Triplett, yes, you Your state Honor. you've always known that Mr. Credo Jones is your father and you hope that once the DNA results are revealed, Ms. Yarbrough and Mr. Jones will welcome you with open arms. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Jones, tell me, why do you doubt Mr. Triplett is your brother? He claims that he's like two weeks older than me. As far as my life, I know my mother and father was always together from 1964 to 1974. We went on trips together. My father was there, my mother was there. I've never even heard of Mr. Triplett. Plus, uh, my dad signed his name on my birth certificate as well as my brother Irvin's birth certificate. So you're saying growing up, you never ever had any idea there was, this uh, man would be two weeks older than you? Right. You grew up thinking you were the oldest child. Yes, for 50 years. 50 years? I, 50 years. I, I you was say your I was father older. signed your birth certificate? Yes. Do you have evidence of that? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Jerome, may I see that, please? Thank you. So this is your birth certificate and your brother's, both of which list Creedell A. Jones as father. Yes. No. So, Mr. Triplett, oh. is Mr. Jones on your birth certificate? No, he isn't. He is not? No. I've always been told that Creedell was the only father that I've ever had, so... Your entire life? My entire life. And you were told you had brothers and sisters? Yes. Yes. So, Mr. Jones, I mean, let's, let's be clear. He is a music legend. Incredible contributions to the music industry. You were told that you were his child. Yes. I've only met him twice. The first memory of meeting him, I was maybe eight or nine. He pulled up in a car and he kind of pat me on the head and handed me $100 and went up to talk with my mom. And I left. Um, and then the other occasion was uh, he came, but this time my relatives were there, and he uh, spoke with my relatives. They knew him and, the, I guess, these other gentlemen. I didn't know who they were. And I was able to recognize from the first time that I met him that that was the guy that my mom pointed out to me was my father. You knew this is the man that I was told was my father? Yes. Uh, Did he, you have a conversation? Not at all, no. And if he's just two weeks older than you, and you've well, never heard... I've never heard him, never heard him, Mr. Triplett, or his mother. And your parents were married? Yes, they were married. Did your mother ever say anything about your father potentially having another son? No. So, Ms. Yarbrough, you once stood in this very same position right. as Mr. Triplett, mm -hmm. and your paternity was doubted. Right. And it was proven in this courtroom that you are, in fact, Creedell Jones's biological daughter. Did you ever hear that in addition to yourself, there were other children? I mean, the only ones that I've heard of were Mr. Jones and his brother, um, and Kubi when I got here, but I've never heard of him. I don't know where he come from. We just been through this, and now here we are again, you know, somebody claiming that they're, you know, a, a heir, a rifle heir, whatever. And, and I mean, if you are, that's fine. Maybe you think it's a lot of money here. I don't know. You think this is about money? You I think... Kinda, I do. And I'm, I, it's, I'm upset because, I mean, I hear this. I hear everybody telling me what they had and the experience that they had with him. The only memory I have of my father, I mean, my mother told me that when we were kids and growing, he was in the house. He was there when I was born. He took care of me and my sister. When he went on the road, he sent my mom money for us. And my older sisters and older cousins have memory of him, but I don't. My only memory of him was at 11 years old when he came to visit me and my sister. That's it. I would, I would rather have, I would rather have had a memory of him. I mean, I, don't, I, would, I wanna know what his voice sounds like. I could care less about royalty rights. I wanna know what his favorite color is. I want, I want a father and I don't know who he is or what he's claiming, but it's just like, maybe he saw us on the last show. So that's my, that's what I'm thinking. And now he think that there's a lot of royalties here and he want in, I mean. You're correct, it was uh, the last show, you're right. 
um, that uh, led me to this show um, so that I can find out if he's my father. It's not about money. I, I don't need the money, not at all. I just want to know if he's my father. To me, we all look like our dad. But, you know, to me, there's no resemblance there. That picture there <laughs> was shown to me and everybody that I know always said that I look like him, so. Who's told I, you that over the years? My family. Your family. Yeah. And so, I, I, after yeah, witnessing book. their appearance in this courtroom previously, mm -hmm. you felt it was important to get the answers you needed as well. Right. Also, most of my family have, uh, they, they're died, they died of cancer. And so, the issue for me was also a health reasons as well. And that, so, that ain't what I got, though. So I'm saying what I see now, Okay. there's no resemblance. There couldn't be. Okay, okay. Time will tell. Yeah, it will. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Your father has an incredible legacy. It would not be unheard of for people to just want to attach themselves to it. But this is what he's been told. He didn't just come up with Creedell Jones out of the wind. Exactly. Well, I mean, we, I, I, he has the evidence that shows the royalties and even all, it lists all the siblings all of, of our father's estate, even the possible ones. So this but evidence shows name, what, Mr. Jones? That evidence shows that my name, Angela's name, and my brother Irvin, we are the rightful heirs. So we the are heirs... Children of, of, that have been proven to be children of Creedale Jones. This evidence, you're saying, does not list... Mr. Triplett's name anywhere. Correct. Not even as a possible heir. Not even as a possible. It's making me think like he's coming out of Woolworths like anyone would if they, if they know it's about some money. Since you believe this is about money, I have an expert, Mr. Fred Buggs from WBLS in New York. Hello, Mr. Buggs. Thank you for joining us. Well, Judge Lake, how are you? We are here on another paternity matter connected to the legendary Creedell Jones of the Shy Lights. We want to understand the value of this estate. Can you shed light on that for us? Sure can. You had a couple of great stand-up singing groups during the 70s. Temptations, Four Tops, Shy Lights out of Chicago. Bunch of number one songs on the R&B charts with the amount of uh, sampling that has been done throughout the years. The publishing has got to be well, well in, into the millions by now. And so you feel like this is commonplace for there to be a fight over royalties and that fight would often include siblings, offspring that may not have been recognized earlier. You know, in, in these cases, we think about the 70s and we, we, we speak safe sex now, but during the 70s, there was a lot of free uh, spirited activities taking place then. So. Uh, now we are finding there are more uh, family members than initially reported at the time. Well said. Thank you so much, Mr. Bugs, for joining us. Thank you much, and all the best to the families. So what his expert testimony confirmed is that, first of all, the situation you find yourselves in at this time is not something we have never seen before. I mean, it's been told that he has about 32 kids, which I don't know if that is so or not. 32? 32. Wow. I have another independent witness I'd like to hear from. Jerome, will you please escort Mr. Jones into the courtroom? Yes. Mr. Jones, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. We are here, of course, discussing the paternity as it relates to Mr. Triplett. We have established that Creedell Jones is, in fact, listed as father on your birth certificate. Correct. Do you or do you not believe Mr. Triplett could possibly be yet another sibling? I believe it's a possibility. You do? I do. Please explain to the court why. I haven't seen my dad, our dad, since I was three years old, 1972. I ran across an ad at work one day featuring one of the Shy Lights members. I looked at that in that magazine, read the article, and thought about Dad. I wondered, was he still alive? I sent an email to their PR agency um, telling her who I was. I hadn't seen my father. I wanted to find him. She told me she would forward the email to the proper person. Later that day, I get an email back telling me she sent the email to Marshall. 
Marshall Thompson. And he asked her to, for me to send a picture. He wanted to see me. So I took a picture, snapped it, sent it to him. I get an email back saying, today your lucky day. Marshall wants you to call him. He saw the picture. Evidently, he saw the face. <laughs> and it's possible, you know. So I called him after I talked to my mom. Nobody in my family knew I was even looking for dad. I didn't tell Michael. I didn't tell my mom. I didn't tell nobody. I wanted to go find him, you know. So once I called Marshall, I told him who I was. He asked me, was, I, was Barbara my mother? I said, no, my mom was Ruby. And he said, oh, Ruby, I remember. Came back to his head. But that's the first time I heard the name Barbara. And I found out Barbara was his mother. Mm. So that's why I believe it is a possibility. I see. Because Marshall connected the dots. For me, at the time, I didn't know about him. I didn't, didn't think about a kid. Didn't know it was any other kids, period. I just knew the three that he had with my mom. But to this day, after learning about her, in this case, I believe it is a possibility. So, Mr. Jones, in light of the testimony we've all just heard, does this change your mind at all? No. It doesn't? <laughs> no. Why? He don't look like me. So you, I, I you're mean, basing this on... I'm going on... back. He look like me. She look like me. My other sisters and brothers look like me. And we all look like our dad. He has no resemblance. Your father's genes are very That's strong. Very strong. How about you, Ms. Yarbrough? Does it make you feel differently to hear this man say that his mother was brought up to him years ago? Um, a little bit. But that, that makes me doubt the motives of the person that gave the story. And, and, and I don't believe that he cheated on my mother because they were together. Oh, come on, man. You... I'm not going to believe that. I'm not going to believe that. I will not speak poorly uh, about the deceased, nor will I say that I have firsthand information. But what we do know, as a music legend, that there were, of course, many opportunities and access to probably many different women that would have been interested I, in dating I, I him I, I and sharing that. his time. And so, as I listen to Mr. Triplett's story, what I find fascinating is that he was told that this was his father, but he had no real contact or connection with him. He didn't really pursue the relationship, but instead did what a lot of young people say as they enter my courtroom. They say, well, if he didn't really care enough to have a relationship with me, then I just decided to go on with my life and try to do me. But as he got older, he began to think, well... I really don't want to leave this earth without knowing who my father is. That's it. And now that I'm older, wiser, more experienced, I can handle the result. Mm -hmm. And the sad part is, is if Creedell Jones is not his biological father, where else does he turn? He's never been given another name. That's the only man that's ever been told, I was told was my father. The only man. Well, well I think we me, can uh, move forward by getting the results, and I have them. Jerome? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Yarbrough, Jones versus Triplett, pertaining to Torlin Triplett, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Triplett, Ms. Yarbrough, Mr. Irving Jones, and Mr. Michael Jones, you are related. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I apologize, bro. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. How you doing, sis? <laughs> How 
how you doing? Good, bro. 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 How do you feel, Mr. Jones? A little emotional. Apologetic. There's no need. No need to apologize. There's no need. And now I got a, a big brother. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> You've been used to being the big brother all these years. Yeah. I'm... Now you got one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. How about you, Mr. Yarbrough? I accept him. I have no, no problem with accepting him. It is what it is. Mr. Jones, this means a lot to you to help bring clarity to this? It does. It does. It's nice to know that I get to know my father from their point of view. Mm -hmm. um, and I get to know who he was as a man and not just some picture on an on a album cover. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, as we talk about your father being a music legend, uh, and part of his legacy was, of course, his music and what he left behind. But I think an even more important part of his legacy are the people and the children he left behind. You get to know your father because you all can share the stories and the information that you have so that you can better understand who he was. I think it was gonna be one amazing family reunion when y'all finally plan it. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you all celebrate one another and your father and his legacy. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.